I just sold my Elgato capture card because you don't need them anymore. Follow along and I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so this only makes sense if you're using a dual PC setup. So if you're going to use something like a games console or anything along those lines, you're still going to need something like a capture card, but hopefully this might change. But as of right now, you need to have a dual PC setup. So basically what you're going to want to do is head over to the OBS uh, plugin website and download something called the OBS NDI plugin. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to have a link in the description down below. Just literally press go to download and download it from right here. I'd recommend just using the Windows installer.exe. You want to install this on your streaming PC and not on your gaming PC. People do this and I don't recommend it and we're going to get into that later. But what you're going to want to install on your gaming PC is you download it from the NDI website and it's called Scan Converter. So here it is here on the NDI.tv website right here. You're going to want to download the NDI tools and inside this comes with the NDI scan converter. And that's what you're gonna to wanna to have installed on your gaming PC. Once you install both of these things, I'd highly recommend reboot both of your systems and make sure there's nothing like firewalls or anything like that getting in the way. There's really good support everywhere, all over the OBS uh, plugin documents, everything like that, and on, and on the GitHub page. You'll find everything you need to know about how to get this up and running all here on the GitHub. On your gaming PC site, so which is what we're looking at right here, once you just basically go in here and type scan converter, it'll show up right there. There it is. And what'll happen is once you launch it, it'll show up like this. Now what this is really great for is that, so instead of like, sw so what I was currently doing was I had the one webcam and I was swapping it between my gaming and my streaming PC. You don't really need to do that. So right here, I have my Go XLR mini, the broadcast stream going straight over the NDI, which is what you're hearing right now through this. And I can confirm this because I can say f and you can't hear me say the word then you want to make sure that your webcam is set up and set it up i my webcam can do 30 and even 60 fps on 720p but i don't seem to have the option here maybe your webcam might differ but my generic amazon webcam I can't actually do thank you obs for crashing in the middle of recording this <laughs> Yeah, so I can't get mine to go over uh, 25 hertz, but sure, you know, it's a webcam, it does okay. So this is really, really helpful. So now I just have the one webcam plugged in into my gaming PC and I'm able to send it over the network along with this. And that's basically what NDI is. So instead of running capture cards to capture everything, you need to have two PCs plugged in through ethernet, which you're streaming. You're gonna wanna do that anyway. It'd be really silly not to. And from there, you're able to just basically pass the video signal over the network. So you need to make sure that they're connected either to the same switch or the same router. These computers need to talk to each other and talk to each other clean. I have a uh, one gigabit modem or one gigabit network switch here underneath my desk, which the two PCs are connected to. And then there's one wire then that goes to my internet router. And this way I'm able to get the cleanest signal as possible. This is really all you need to do. And then once you're just over here on the OBS side, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to get it all set up from over here. And then at the very end, we're gonna talk about what problems I've run into, why maybe sometimes you might prefer a capture card and just, just any just general things that went wrong for me while doing this. Okay, so I know right now it looks a bit funny. This is a vertical monitor. I have three monitors set up. So I have my gaming monitor and then I have my, just my just keeping an eye on everything monitor and then over here, I have my third monitor. I'll try like import some footage in here if I'm bothered to clean up my desk. <laughs> I don't want to show you my dirty ass desk. But basically, this is what my OBS looks like when I'm streaming. You can get this to work in Streamlabs. Um, there's a separate plugin you need to install, but I'm not really going to go through that. But it, it's quite easy to find it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, once you have the plugin installed and everything like that, when you go up here, you'll be able to see the NDI. So you have it actually there. So this is what it'll look like if you're using the two and um, things is OBS, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. So I know my monitor is pretty small there in the preview. It's just cause this is a vertical monitor, as I said, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is, let's just delete this just to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go down here, go and press the plus, and we're gonna press NDI source. You're not gonna have any of these, so just create a new source, call it 
gaming monitor or whatever monitor you want to call it if you're like me and you have like multiple monitors because you have multiple applications going like i would well then you know configure it how you need it and add as many as you need but you're going to want to press the plus and from here you're going to want to press your source so in here for example this is my webcam right here so 1080p webcam then i've see so gaming rig gaming rig see number one and number two so number one would be like your main monitor and then any other numbers then after that are going to be your secondary monitors bit of trial and error to figure out exactly which monitor you're going to want to select we're going to go for our gaming monitor so which is going to be number one make your bandwidth the highest if you only want the audio there is an audio option which is very very nice over here i'd always select network your yuv range everything like that depending on you know your network everything like that i'd normally just pretty much keep all this normal latency mode keep it normal if you put it on experimental shit is gonna go wrong so make sure you at least you keep it on the normal there's like the slightest millisecond i found i had more latency when i did the experimental one my obs kept crashing leave it alone so okay. press okay and then and then boom this is my gaming monitor right here and over here you know you go into your steam library everything like that you know you start playing your games everything like that not a problem now so some of the issues i've had so a lot of people recommend to do this by downloading the obs ndi plugin twice and run an instance of obs on your gaming pc and you're basically sharing that instance of obs over to the obs on your streaming pc and i really don't agree with this when i was doing this i noticed i had a lot of screen tearing issues i had a lot of fps issues webcam please calm down at the exposure right now holy shit um yeah it just i found it very difficult to work with and it was very very finicky whereas this way i haven't really had any issues at all and i'm so happy i found it because the reason i i bought my elgato capture card because the obs version was being very bad bought a capture card spent way too much money because of covid right now and capture cards are like fucking gold so yeah no once I found Scan Converter and I was able to do all this stuff, it made my life so much, so much easier. That frees up then your game in PC to have, if you wanted to just record raw gameplay, you can just open up OBS on your game in PC as well and just record that, or you can use something like Shadow Play or anything like that that you may use. You know, now it just frees up a lot of resources, especially. My favorite thing about the Scan Converter is that how you're able to see my webcam right now and it's not even plugged into the streaming rig even though i'm recording this video right now on the streaming rig with the uh, ndi scan converter i was able to just pass through it over and boom it's right there so yeah use scan converter don't use double obs it will not work very well for you now you really need to make sure you have a gigabit switch which are go for like 10 quid on amazon so like that's not a big issue and just make sure you're using good enough quality cables you know that's it happy streaming have a good time don't give elgato any more money that you do not need to instead use that money invest in something else like a go xlr so you can curse on stream because anything else you know <laughs> or buy some gfil do something else with your money you do not need to spend two three hundred euro on a capture card if you're using dual PC setups. This obviously will not work if you're not doing such thing, if you're capturing from a console, switch, phone, whatever you're doing, it's not gonna work. It does not have NDI built into it. There's no way to make that work. Well, maybe if you have it like jailbroken or something like that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not possible. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna go by. If anyone can prove me wrong, let me know in the comments below, because if there's a way to get consoles to be able to do something like this, that'd be sick. Anyway, guys, Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. My Twitch is down in the description. You can always catch me streaming. I'm play. I'm playing games. I'm doing After Effects, Lightroom, Photoshop, all sorts of stuff. We do some cool shit on my stream, or should I say, some cool shit on my stream? <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Peace.